Good afternoon. I want to thank I want to thank everyone for coming here this afternoon uh, for today's announcement. Uh, my first obligation is to uh, recognize uh, some of our elected officials that are here uh, from the uh, Kokomo City Council. We have Council President Mike Kennedy, Councilwoman Janie Young, uh, Councilman Tom Micklick, Councilman Don Hayworth, Councilman Mike Wyant, Councilwoman Cindy Sanders, Councilman Kevin Summers and our city clerk, Brenda Ott. So if you would recognize them, I'd appreciate it. We also have our state representative, Mike Karakoff, here today, if you would. And good to see you. We have Judge George Hopkins with us as well. We have two of our county commissioners here, uh, Commissioner Paul Wyman and Commissioner Tyler Moore with us today. And uh, I always have to recognize when uh, we have a f former mayor with us and we have former mayor Steve Daly with us as well, so thank you. Uh, it was just four months ago that we broke ground on Co Kokomo Municipal Stadium and I want to give you a quick update before we get to today's announcement. Um, if you go past it, uh, just about every day you can see uh, the updates and the changes taking place. Uh, the stadium's foundation has been installed. The outfield wall is up and has been backfilled. The storm and sanitary sewers are being connected. The detention ponds should be completed this week. And installation of the footers and baseline walls continue this week. Today's announcement is part of a larger rebirth and a revitaliza uh, revitalization of an older neighborhood. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce MK, MKE Sports Marketing Director, Van McNeil. Van. Thank you, everybody. So we have a winner in our Name the Team contest. Just under 1,000 entries were submitted. Of those 1,000 entries, 15 selected the same name. Of those 15, we will randomly draw our winner right now. Do we have any finalists that are here right now? Raise your hand, finalists. All right. All right. Put a dollar sign to it, they will come. Here we go. All right. All of our names are right in here. The winner of the $2,500 grand prize tickets. Merchandise as well. The winner of American, I'm sorry. The winner of the Kokomo Baseball Name the Team Contest, Fred Barber. Are you here, Fred? How about a, ni <laughs> How about a nice round of applause for Mr. Fred Barber, nonetheless. We will get in contact with Fred. Keep in touch to our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page for the giant check picture with Mr. Fred Barber, okay? We're gonna go to his house right after this press conference. <laughs> Uh, with that said, we have plenty on the table for you today. Let's get things going with MKE Sports and Entertainment owner, Mr. Mike Zimmerman. Mike. Thank you, folks. Uh, this, is, this is a fun day. We get to, um, Van said we have a winner, but he didn't tell you what the name is. Um, so the name of your new baseball club is the Kokomo Jackrabbits. So congratulations. <laughs> We also uh, uh, spent a lot of time designing this, and, and I personally love this logo. It's got a great uh, look and feel. Um, we've, we've kind of surveyed it to some of the initial group, and we think it, it's going to sell just tremendously from a merchandise uh, standpoint. So, Van, if we could unveil the new logo, that'd be great. Your Kokomo Jackrabbits. We also have a bunch of t-shirts. Uh, Van, how many do we bring with us? About 60? Yep. So um, at the end of this, why don't you come on up? We've got two different color t-shirts, a white one and a brown one. So we're going to hand those out. And also we've got a, a special gift for the mayor, right? We've got a yes, couple of jackets. Maybe bring those out too?
So on the, uh, on the back of the shirt, uh, it says Get Jacked, uh, which says a lot about um, what we're going to be doing uh, with the logo and the overall brand. But the whole idea is um, outrageous marketing. So the campaign this year is uh, Get Jacked, and we've got a lot of creative ideas that we're going to be uh, showing you guys as we continue to uh, unveil the logo. So now the next uh, order of business is uh, we also uh, signed your manager. Um, so we're going to announce your manager and also your hitting advisor. So I'm going to have Greg Von Horn and Rob Deere come on up. I'll let these guys give you an overview of who they are, what their backgrounds are, but uh, Greg is um, uh, actually played um, in the Prospect League, played in the Frontier League. He's a, a real up-and-comer in baseball. Uh, he's right now already recruited, I think, five or six kids. Um, He'll also be joined by Rob Deere. Rob Deere played for the Milwaukee Brewers. He was the uh, hitting coach for the Cubs. Uh, he's going to be helping Greg out with uh, all of the hitting stuff. So, and he's going to talk to you a bit about some of the camp stuff he's going to be bringing to the city of Kokomo as well. So uh, do we have Jersey Van for our coach? All the fun stuff here. So this is what your uh, home jerseys are going to look like too. So I'm going to put this awkwardly on you, Greg. size next time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, your field manager of your Kokomo Jackrabbits, a nice round of applause. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is pretty cool. I first want to thank Mike and Van and Rob and of course the Mayor Greg for this opportunity. I mean this is awesome. I think they did a pretty fantastic job with the logo. Uh, just a quick background on myself. I'm 26 years old. I'm from New Jersey. I started undergrad at Princeton. I ended up finishing at the College of Worcester, a small school in Ohio. And uh, for the last three years, I guess my last year playing was uh, two years ago, I played three years of Frontier League Baseball. And I uh, started my coaching career last summer with the Chillicothe Paints in the Prospect League. Uh, I just got the assistant job back at Princeton University, so right now I'm back there in, uh, at my old, my old place. And I can't tell you how excited I am to, for this opportunity. The one thing I do want to say is that we're here for you guys. This is, I think it's a big opportunity for the city of Kokomo, and I'm really excited with this new stadium and everything you guys go, got going on, Greg, what you're doing with this whole revitalization project. We're here for you, and so anything we can do to help you guys is really the most important thing for us. The one thing I can promise you as a team is that we're gonna play harder than anybody, we're gonna work harder than anybody, and what you come to the field to see is, is we're gonna do everything that we can to provide the best experience for you guys in the, in the stands. And I'll turn it over to Rob Deere. I must say that was well said for a young manager. Um, I'm just as excited. I think that uh, everybody here in Kokomo should be excited. I've played in uh, a lot of small towns. I was signed at 17. I went, um, so I know what it's like to play in the, in the, the, nice little towns that um, where baseball is what it's all about here. Um, so I think everybody in Kokomo should get very excited and be excited about their new team and uh, the, the future for baseball here. Um, my background, as uh, Mikey said, I've uh, I played for 11 years in the major leagues. I, um, I was the hitting coach for the Chicago Cubs last year. I was a hitting coordinator for the San Diego Padres for seven years, so I was in charge of 145 players. Um, Baseball has always been a passion of mine. Um, and a lot of people will ask, and we talk about this all the time, but I had to do this last year in Chicago in front of about 1,000 reporters. But they, the first question that comes out all the time is, well, how, does, um, how does a person that, you know, my highest batting average was 252, but usually I'd hit 30 home runs with it, which I never talk about hitting home runs. I always talk about being a complete player. But it's the old adage I always say, you know, do as I say it, not as I did. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't teach swing hard in case you hit it. So, so um, but I'm real excited to be a part. I'm being real excited to be here with Greg and Mikey, and, and uh, I just hope you guys are all excited too because it's gonna be a fun summer for you. So everybody in Kokomo, get jacked.
All right, a little special treat today. Our friend Mr. Tim Rivers over at the museum at the uh, Elwood Hades Museum. Did you know there used to be a Kokomo Jackrabbits team here in Kokomo? Anybody know that? You guys did. Of course you did. <laughs> Tim was kind enough to bring, Tim was this, uh, this is over 100 years old, am I correct? Over 100 years old. The jersey of the Apperson 8, which went by the Jackrabbit. So, throwback jersey night. Here we go. We already have the plans. Are we excited, ladies and gentlemen? Let me hear you. I said, are we excited for the Kokomo Jackrabbits? We are. Media, media, we will conduct your interviews, your one-on-one -on -one interviews over here and in front of the backdrop. For the rest of you, we have uh, these uh, packets for you on your way out the door. You can find out all about MKE Sports and Entertainment. You have today's press release. Also, some stickers that you can stick wherever you would like. That's all in the back. Also, get social with us, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 21st Century is here. It's time to play. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Kokomo Jackrabbits. Thank you for having us. Go Kokomo Jackrabbits.